Hello, my name is Luis Bianco. In this video I will talk about a modification on a Maglite. Uh, this modification of course void the factory warranty. That's just from a start. We did actually start with a used broken flashlight. This this one here. It's one of the of the older uh, of the older uh, long mag lights that were made. Uh, I would say uh, around the 80s and 90s uh, back then uh, there the, the LEDs were not that much around so they basically used uh, the standard bulbs uh, for get a bit more throw and more more uh, light out of the flashlight they made it in some cases as long as this one that more of the D cells I believe it's seven in this uh, monster mag light here fit in the in the battery tube so uh, the output of the light uh, is is a uh, greater back then it was for sure a pretty good uh, flashlight but now in our days uh, mag light is completely outdated by way 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 many different uh, brands of flashlights uh, not not uh, from from really cheap to a uh, more more expensive anything uh, in between that would uh, fit your budget so so uh, mag light is for sure for sure uh, I, i'm always amazed that they still sell that brand because even with the led upgrade for a for a flashaholic like me a, a candle power forum uh, member it's amazing that they still uh, sell but i guess it's the, the brand name but uh, nevertheless, there were uh, some upgrades for the Maglite from different companies that they put in LEDs and other upgrades. But uh, that, that cost all pretty pretty good money. So I wanted to see what I could do on this, this uh, cheap uh, flashlight that I got broken use from the US uh, police. And uh, yeah, let's have a look now. It's no longer uh, a clicky, so the clicky is gone. We see the silver aluminum color after anodizing that gonna be black. So what we basically did was put this flashlight into the mag light. So we needed to make two spacers, aluminum, one spacer that is basically in the body, in the mag light body, holding this body and in the head we have another spacer that basically holds the head of the flashlight I did uh, select this yeah today is police day the sirens are like crazy here for whatever reason so uh, I did select this kind of flashlight uh, because they are relative inexpensive easy to uh, replace and uh, what they use is the surefire drop in so that's really important because all the time a new fancy led comes on the market somebody in china or wherever make a, a drop in so you can actually upgrade this mag light to brighter and brighter and even brighter leds as the evolution goes on or if you want to a different uh, different uh, color like red or whatever is is so many different possibilities so I'm gonna take it quick apart it's now a twisty as I did say we have the head part and inside the body part you already see the battery I use a rechargeable you see there in the middle is like uh, in the middle is the body of course that part here is the body of the new flashlight then around it surrounding it is that ring that we basically see here and the ring is secured with these two allen wrenches so this one is actually hold this part here and that part here that screw goes all the way through and basically hold this flashlight in in place so I could always uh, drill and tap some more holes to make it more sturdy. Sturdy. It's uh, not 100% finished yet. It's a it's a test. 
so that's how how that side look like by the head we see inside uh, ring 2 and the the head of the of the new flashlight from the front we see the ring and the the LED in the middle now we still have a bit play with the uh, with the lens and uh, the lens is a is a scratch it anyhow so that that gonna be replaced for sure it's just a matter of time so I take that quick apart too it's basically the lens with the rubber ring and inside we see the ring it's relative tight made so that's how that looks like we see the flashlight that goes on the on the head itself was nothing altered it just goes in then we put on the head again and as I say it still has a bit play that's that's gonna gonna fit as the, the battery is in it that gets pressed forward so there is no play anymore now we just screw that back on is a pretty long thread on the mag light it's pretty good then the, we, we come over the O seal and already it lights up so uh, with this uh, drop in we have different modes uh, the SOS you know yeah it sticks on a on SOS sometimes it does that that's why I say I'm not yeah now it's good it needs a certain uh, quickness of uh, twisting because the the LED drop in uh, has has a a certain sequence uh, how it's programmed that it that it uh, change by itself so so I have to figure out how it is you know that is a uh, medium bright low this is low but uh, yeah then we have strobe of course but that is just a uh, on that kind of drop in as I say there is many many of droppings drop in so so uh, it's even uh, possible to put one in that just give you full as you twist it it just brights up and finish so that's about uh, how to use it now there are no batteries anymore the aluminum stops about here so it's completely uh, free so we have lost a bit of weight what I did is unscrew the, the back quick we uh, made up with the weight by a simple steel pipe just cut to size is a uh, is hollow we even could uh, fill it with the uh, batteries for the uh, storage or even make it more more heavy so basically that that goes in here uh, the, the spring the original spring and the original cap with the o-ring with the o-ring uh, seal it up on the back side so so now it's pretty pretty heavy again like like the original one was back then the reason why I did that uh, most of the flashlights I have are like this size but uh, there was never never a uh, much a uh, uh, big one like this that I like that that I could afford or that I want to spend the money on so I made this myself it's a uh, double use it's not only a bright flashlight it's also used as a beating stick if needed so this is a one of a kind for now flashlight for me it will stay in my collection and uh, and uh, yeah enjoy the, the life there so that's that much about how you could actually alter a uh, mag light an old mag light doesn't matter how long the body is to a uh, bright new uh, drop in relative easy relative cheap two rings out of aluminum a couple screws and then you have it